An alarming study is causing concern for residents along the South Florida coastline. It says buildings are sinking. CBS News Miami's Joe Murray joins us live from Sunny Isles Beach with what she found. And we're talking about some pretty big buildings that have been around for a while, Joan. Yeah, and we are here on Sunny Isles Beach because this is the area that scientists say is most at risk for what they found in these satellite studies. Now, I also talked to a developer who says this study is way overblown. Of course, it's a problem, but we don't don't know yet any information about it. Francisco Recases lives in the Pinnacle, a high rise on Sunny Isles Beach. It's a few buildings down from several condos where a new study says the buildings show signs of sinking. New buildings, they have to, you know, to sink a little bit until they get, you know, stable. So uh, that's what I'm assuming. So I, I, don't, I don't think, but I don't think that it's going to collapse. Scientists at the University of Miami and collaborators say 35 buildings along the coast are showing signs of sinking. One hypothesis is, well, we, we do see that um, their subsidence at some places, it picks up or it starts when there is construction, either from the building itself after it was built for a new building or when there's construction nearby. This is a very new technology by using satellite to measure buildings. And as you continue to read, there was no physical inspections of the building. Daniel Codsey is a developer who has built buildings on the water and inland. Um, all the buildings, especially the older buildings, have been inspected. Of course, there's a Florida law that requires inspection. These newer buildings, sure, they're taller. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, we, we put them uh, on these piles and we dig between 125 to 150 feet into the ground right. uh, for these high rises. So they have very firm foundations. Um, they are expected to settle into the ground. That's not unnatural for a building. There's no evidence on the ground um, that says that there's any uh, unsettling that, that's, uh, you know, that should be concerning. And just to give you an idea, we are told that some of the operators of these buildings today actually sent uh, managers around to try to check to see if there was any evidence of what was found in the study. They say they found nothing. So you can see that the jury is still out. It's going to take a lot more study. And the scientists at University of Miami said more study is in order. Live tonight on Sunny Isles Beach, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.